DeKalb County homicide detectives were back at Corporate Square early this morning questioning employees at the office park as they came into work. They are looking for any clue which might explain the mysterious death of Patrick Baltazar. Investigators are especially interested in this young woman, a dental technician who works in the building near where Baltazar's body was found. She says she spotted a man driving what she describes as an old green car early Friday morning near where the body was found. Using her description, police artists are now compiling a colored composite sketch of the man, which they hope to be able to release within the next few days. Cab emergency 911, is this an emergency? That old green car is one of the few leads police have, and all weekend long, phones in the communications room have been ringing off the hook. More than 70 people have reported seeing an old green car that looks suspicious. Police caution, however, that the driver of the car is not a suspect in this case. He's just wanted for questioning. The murder of Patrick Baltazar has now become the top priority of the DeKalb Police Department, which solved more than 90 percent of its homicide cases last year. Public Safety Director Dick Han says although his detectives are cooperating with Atlanta police, the case will not entirely be turned over to the task force. The task force has uh, limited manpower with the number of cases that are already assigned to them. So what we're doing in effect uh, is not only utilizing the services of the task force, but we're putting an additional uh, 10 to 15 people on this one case. But police admit they still have no suspects, although they think they're getting warm. Many investigators now believe the murderer is a grandstander who plots his moves according to news reports. When Rockdale County reported a crank caller, a body turned up in Conyers. And when Director Han was publicly critical of the task force several weeks ago, a body showed up in DeKalb County. Police just hope they can find the vital clue in this case before the killer strikes again. Meanwhile, the family of another murdered child is making plans for his burial. 11-year-old Jeffrey Lamar Mathis's body was identified yesterday by the Fulton County Medical Examiner, and Gary Reeves has that story.